welcome to my Tech Talk. I want to show you around at this beautiful Marco Polo double decker with a Volvo chassis. On my first trip to the South America, I also have the first chance in my life to take a look and talk about this four axle Marco Polo coach that is behind me. This is the Marco Polo Paradiso 1800 DD. This is the G8 version, generation 8 from Marco Polo. They launched it in uh, the mid of 2021, in the middle of pandemic. And as you can see, this is built on a Volvo chassis, four axle Volvo chassis. The two axle in the front, it's the steering axle. And then you have the drive axle and you have a tag axle. And the tag axle on this one, don't stare as we are used to in Europe. Come on and let's take a look at what sits inside and around on this coach. And this one, this is not the entrance to the coach. This is for the co-pilot because some of the lines have two co-pilots and one driver. And this part of the bus is separated from the passenger side. You can go through in the middle, but normally some, some coaches have a kitchen there and other have a sleeping cabin in that part. And just take a look at this beautiful front part. You can see the lines. They have been really thinking about this when they constructed the bus. So you get um, less wind drag on the bus. And you can see the logo on the bus. If you can guess what this is, comment under the video. Also, they have split window in the first floor. That's, as I have mentioned before in other videos, this is to save money. If you have a crack on this window, you don't have to replace the whole unit. You just order this part. And as you also can see, it's easier to transport the window when they are smaller. Mirrors are analog on this one, but they have digital mirrors as well, and they look similar to this one they are still mounted on a bracket and the company around in south america they still prefer the analog mirrors because the digital mirrors is still a little bit too expensive in this luggage compartment or sleeping cabin it's, you can choose what you want to use it for uh, it's just behind the driver position so it's easy access behind the two front axle you have the entrance to the coach but i cannot open it now because the wheelchair lift is here and i will show you a little bit and i will talk a little bit about this now this is something that we have not seen before and in europe you have a lift you take the whole wheelchair into the coach and it, the passenger can move then over to a seat or sit in the wheelchair but here in south america they prefer this type of seat so you take the wheelchair and you move directly over to the seat and lift it up, turn it around and you are a passenger in the coach like everyone else. No one can see that you are sitting in a wheelchair. And also when you are traveling like 10 to 12 hours traveling time, you don't want to sit in a wheelchair. You want to have this comfortable seat that you can lay down completely as a bed. And here in Brazil, every buses have to have this type of wheelchair lift. Even if you have a private company where you only take a trip from the time to time or if you have a commercial line that drives every day. And then we need one type of wheelchair lift like this one. And the fourth axle on this one is a tag axle and it's not turning as we are used to in Europe. This is a stiff axle just following the coach. You can take off the pressure so you can easily turn it, but this, the axle would stand still. This is for the maintenance. It's easy to fix it. There is no parts that is turning. So it's for the owner of the coach, save money on this solution. And here you have the luggage compartment, but I'm surprised how difficult it is to access. You have to lift it quite high. You have sharp areas here, and you also have a big pillar. Also, the door is very narrow, and just inside you have a new pillar. So it's not easy to access or to put in your luggage in this one, but the driver will have a difficult time to put in all the luggage. And here you have the heart of the coach. This is a Volvo D11 engine. Uh, in Europe, we now have the D13 back on the market, but here you still have the D11. This is not the strongest engine if you're going up the hills uh, in South America, but this is normally used on a long distance uh, between cities where you don't have the big hills up and down. This looks like a normal Volvo chassis. You have everything where you expect it to be. There is nothing special from this area, but you can still get this in a Euro 5 version. Up to the end of this year, they are allowed to deliver Euro 5 version of uh, the coaches in Brazil. But from 1st of January next year, everyone needs the Euro 6. But a little fun fact, here in Brazil, they still have the pancake 
the B12M chassis. It's called the, the B340M chassis here. It is fun to know that you still can get the pancake version of the Volvo chassis where you had the mid engine. I just want to tell you a little bit about the front axle. You have a double set of front axle on this bus and it's not like we have seen in Europe where you're taking a city bus front part, more or less a city bus, to have a low part. But here you take a coach front axle and build it in. But here you have the coach front suspension and front axles. So it means that you cannot walk from the front to the back easily. You have to go over the axle. So that's why you enter the coach after the axles. But you make the coach more comfortable to drive and less noisy. And also on the maintenance of the coach, it's more easily to have this more old fashioned front axle with air suspension instead of these individual axles that you have in Europe. <laughs>